Hey guys, it's Riley, and welcome to my channel on this very fine Trans Tuesday. As you guys know, leading up to the holidays, I'm doing holiday-themed videos for my entire channel. I was going to have a special guest on the channel for one of these videos, but they are not replying to my text messages, so I'm going to take hold and assume that that is not happening, so I had to come up with a last-minute idea. But while brainstorming about a last-minute idea, I kind of came up with an idea for a series whose first part is starting today. So here I am presenting you with the very first installment of Pray the Gay Away. What I'm thinking about this series is that it's going to have to do with non-binary identities, including both gender and sexuality, and then also taking in religious counterparts. And I figured since around this time of year it is mostly religious holidays like Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa, we would talk about non-binary identities and religious holidays. I also don't have this video scripted. I don't really script any of my trans education videos. I just kind of have an idea and then I run with it and ramble, so we're going to see where it goes. I know it can be difficult for a lot of trans and LGBTQ plus people around the holidays because there's a lot of focus on religion and mainly Christianity that I have seen, but that's probably because I'm growing up in a Christian household. There are a lot of nativity scenes and crosses and churchgoers and religious carols going around at this time of year. And sometimes whether you are religious or not can make people very uncomfortable that are in the LGBTQ plus community because there are people in this community that feel very targeted by other religious people or by religions themselves. Today I'm going to share my take on Christianity and Christmas with non-binary identities. My first statement is that Christmas is the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. And if you know, great. If you don't, Jesus is basically the Messiah, and that's what he's called throughout the Bible. And Jesus is here and was brought to the world by God as the Son of God to be the Savior of humanity, basically. God brought him into the world from the Virgin Mary to save us and cleanse us of our sins. Jesus has become a symbol of peace. And some people don't really take it that way because there are people who represent Jesus or Christianity who do not fall under actual Christian acts and beliefs. Jesus was one of the most accepting and loving people to ever walk the earth because he was godly. That's what he was. He was sin-free. Jesus being born was a promise to the world, to humanity, that we would be saved, that we have an option for redemption. But there are a lot of people who use, in Jesus' name, foul things, and things that Jesus would not believe or endorse. Jesus was about peace. He was not about hatred. He was about preaching love and not war. Love thy neighbor like thyself. And that's also implying you gotta love yourself. Jesus is an accepting figure. Jesus is the whole purpose and reason for Christmas. Jesus is the voice of love and reason, and Jesus accepts everybody, no matter your race, no matter your sexual orientation, no matter your gender identity. If you accept God and Jesus as your savior, you're getting into those pearly gates. And I'm not here sitting to preach I'm trying not to preach, and I'm very sorry if that's what it's sounding like. I'm just trying to explain that Jesus is a very peaceful and loving and accepting figure, and the people who walk around saying Jesus is condemning you for your sexuality or gender identity are spewing loads of bullshit because it's not true. Jesus is a peacemaker, and Christmas is an entire holiday designed around celebrating his birth, the peacemaker's birth, the Messiah's birth, the Son of God's birth, and he is a symbol of peace and love, and he accepts everybody, no matter who you are. Basically, Jesus loves you, and I'm not saying that in a preachy way, but like as things through the Bible. Like, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves everybody. There is not an exception. If you are gay, oh well, like, who cares? Jesus loves you. Trans? Doesn't matter. Jesus loves you. Are you a prostitute? Jesus loves you. He had dinners with homeless people. He had dinners with liars and sinners and whores, as the Bible calls them. He literally loved everyone. He was not a discriminatory person. 
And a lot of people feel around the holidays that it's okay to be like, oh, it's a God's holiday. You have to be respectful of religious people and you can't be gay or trans. It's wrong. Jesus was a loving and accepting human being and he would not condemn you for being you. A lot of people feel around Christmas that they make their family uncomfortable with their identity because their family is religious. Screw that. If they are really religious, if they are Christian, this video is more designed towards people in whose families are Christian because I'm Christian and I don't have enough knowledge on other religions to explain to you their beliefs or their systems. But if your family practices Christianity, but they say you can't be gay or you can't be trans or it's wrong or it's against God's will, they're not true Christians. It says, love thy neighbor like thyself. And the Bible also says only God can judge. If they are judging you and saying you can't do this because God won't accept you, they're wrong because they have no idea what God will and will not accept because it's God's decision. The entire idea that somebody would not ex be accepted into heaven because of their gender or their sexuality was entirely created by people who were uncomfortable with others that were different from them. So with it being a religious holiday and there's a lot of churches and things going on, it's a celebration. It's a celebration of Jesus' life and Jesus is a sign of peace and love and you can be a part of that. You are not a bad person for your identity at all. If you're Christian, awesome. Jesus loves you. If you're not Christian, awesome. Whatever you believe in loves you. If you don't have a religion, awesome. You should love you and do what you please. It's not my business to judge. That was kind of ranty and all over the place and I don't know if I'm even gonna post it, but I think that's what I have right now. And I just wanted to say that, like, it is a religious holiday and it's celebrating the coming of the Messiah. And, like, he was loving and a caring person and was all about acceptance. So if your family's sitting there like, oh, you're making me uncomfortable because you're gay or trans and you're around everybody else on the holidays, I mean, screw them. Like, they don't have, they're not godly. Like, just ignore. Ignore. Get out. Um... <laughs> That's all I've got. So that was a weird video, but I do hope you enjoyed it and maybe it helped you. I'm sorry it was like super preachy. Um, wasn't intended to be preachy, but things happen. If you enjoyed it or if it helped you or anything like that, make sure you give it a big thumbs up because these videos are designed to help and start a discussion. Also, if you feel the need to, you can definitely share it with a friend if you feel like they may need this video. Also, please make sure you comment down below what you liked about this video, what you didn't like about this video, if you disagreed with something, or if you think that I could work on something to explain it better if you can think of a better way to explain it. Subscribing is a cool thing you can also do because I post new videos every week twice a week and so on Tuesdays is Trans Tuesdays and are part of my hashtag trans education series and then on Thursdays are just random other videos you know that tend to happen. I'm also doing Vlogmas right now so you can subscribe to my side channel if you want the link will be in the description and you can see a new video from me every day there. I'm also Wednesdays on a collab channel called Quite the Collab. Our link will also be in the description and I post on Wednesdays like I said and there's new videos every day with a new topic every week. One last thing before I go, there's a website called YourHolidayMom.com, which is a lovely, lovely website. So if you have a very non-accepting family or the place that you're around during the holidays and you need to look to someone for acceptance of more of a parental or family figure, YourHolidayMom.com is a wonderful place to go for that because they kind of assign you a sponsor, I guess. I haven't had to use it. I've only been on it and looked and read other people's experiences, but they write you letters and sometimes videos and it's basically coming from a mom or a dad or a parental figure or a sibling to you and giving you an accepting, loving space for the holidays, and I think it's very awesome. So the link to that will be in the description. Please check that out if you need to. I still have my gift keyboard giveaway going on. I'm not going to talk about it much, but the link is in the description if you would like to go check that out and possibly enter to win some cool stuff. That's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Love you. Bye!